come to the front of your mat and either bring your big toes to touch or take your feet hip width apart. Hands come into prayer in front of the heart. Close your eyes and just take a couple of deep breaths, allowing yourself to arrive. Begin ujjayi breath, gently constricting the back of the throat and creating the sound of the ocean with each inhale and exhale. May we take this opportunity to quite simply breathe deep, connect to our bodies, and let go of anything we no longer need. so that we walk off our mats feeling grounded, clear, and connected. Inhale and circle the arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, bow, standing forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, lengthen the chest forward, and then exhale, step your right foot back into a lunge. Line your fingertips up with your front ankle, and as you inhale, reach your chest forward. And as you exhale, plant your palms and step back, downward dog. Inhale, ripple forward into plank pose, upward push-up position, and exhale, lower yourself all the way down to the ground. Inhale, cobra pose, lift your chest, and exhale, move through bent knees and make your way into child's pose. Slide your hands towards you, inhale, come stand up on your knees, take your arms overhead, and exhale, hands in prayer and bow, forehead comes down to the earth, fingertips by knees. Inhale, round the spine, stand up on the knees, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, hands move through prayer, forehead to the ground, fingertips by knees. Inhale, rounding up, circle the arms. Exhale, hands in prayer and bow, forehead to the earth. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, standing up on the knees. Exhale, hands out in front of you and make your way into downward dog, hips up to the sky behind you. Inhale, right leg goes up, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it forward in between your hands. Come onto your fingertips. Inhale, reach your chest forward. Exhale, step to the front of the mat and bow, standing forward fold. Inhale, stand up, Urdhva Hastasana, arms overhead. Exhale, hands in prayer in front of the heart. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bow, standing forward fold. Inhale, flat back, offer the chest forward. Exhale, step your left foot back into a lunge. Fingertips line up with front ankle. Inhale, reach the chest forward. Exhale, plant your palms and step back, down dog. Inhale, come on forward, plank pose. Exhale, lower yourself all the way down to the ground. Inhale, cobra, press pubic bone into the ground, reaching the chest forward and up. Exhale, move through bent knees and make your way into child's pose. Slide your hands towards you. Come stand up on your knees and inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, bow, forehead to the earth, fingertips down by knees. Inhale, rounding up, stand up on the knees, arms overhead. Exhale, bow. Inhale, rounding up. Exhale and bow. Inhale, stand up on the knees, arms overhead. Exhale, slide your hands out in front of you and make your way into down dog. Inhale, left leg goes up, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it forward in between your hands. Come onto your fingertips. Inhale, offer your chest forward. Exhale, step to the front of the mat and bow, standing forward fold. Inhale, stand up, circle the arms overhead. Exhale, hands in prayer in front of the heart. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, bow, standing forward fold. Inhale, flat back, offer your chest forward. Exhale, step your right foot back into a lunge. Line your fingertips up with your front ankle. Inhale, reach your chest forward. And exhale, plant your palms and step back, downward dog. Inhale, ripple forward, plank pose, upward push-up position. 
Exhale, bend your knees, arc your spine, and take your chest back and up, down dog. Inhale, ripple forward, plank pose. Exhale, bend your knees, arc your spine, bring your chest to your thighs, downward dog. Inhale, ripple forward, plank pose. Exhale, put your knees on the ground and lower halfway or all the way, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, move through bent knees, down dog. Right leg goes up, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it forward in between your hands. Lower your back heel down towards the ground, towards the right, and inhale, reach your arms overhead, Virumadrasana one. Square the pelvis towards the front of the mat and keep pressing your back heel into the ground. Line your arms up with your ears and reach up through all ten of your fingers. If you have the space, gently lift pubic bone towards belly and feel how that deepens the quad stretch. Soften your jaw and feel your breath. Next time you exhale, hands down by the front foot, pivot your back heel up off the ground, and then go ahead and step your left foot out towards the right and forward, and then bend your left knee and put your left foot on the ground on the outside of your right foot, seated spinal twist. Put your butt down on the ground, take your right hand behind you, and inhale, lift your left arm up, and then exhale, take your left elbow to the outside of the right leg, or wrap the arm around the leg. You'll see how it goes in your own body. As you inhale, lengthen the spine, and as you exhale, gently twist the abdomen towards the right and towards the back of your mat. Continue like that, inhaling, lengthening, and exhaling and twisting. Come on back to center, sweet little counter twist in the opposite direction. Coming back to center, place both your feet down on the ground out in front of you and just give your legs a little one-two shake. Blah, 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 blah. And then bend your knees, place your feet on the ground, grab a hold of the backs of your knees, shift the weight back for Navasana, lift your toes up off the ground, boat pose. Either keep your hands, the backs of your knees, or now take your arms by your sides, palms facing in towards each other. Wherever you are, lengthen the spine, lift the chest, and either stay as you are or try to straighten your legs. Ooh. Sparkle out through your toes wherever you are. And then bend your knees, grab a hold of your feet with your hands, taking your knees out to the sides. From here, holding onto your feet with your hands, take your knees wide, and then either stay here, this is Blossoming Lotus, or take your arms underneath your calves, feel free to watch me. You're going to grab chin, mudra, index, and thumb finger together, and then bring your heels to touch and lift your chest. Sparkle out through your toes, and that's the lotus flower right there, so those lovely toes. And then slowly unravel back to Navasana boat pose. And you can rest whenever you need to. If you're coming with me, exhale, lie down. Take your feet over your head. And then swing your legs forward and come all the way up chair pose. Whee! Take a deep breath here. And then exhale, ribs, the thighs, fingers go out behind you. Inhale, reach your arms forward and up chair pose. Exhale, ribs, the thighs, fingers go out behind you. Inhale, lifting up chair pose. Exhale, ribs the thighs. Inhale, stand all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana, arms overhead. And then exhale, hands in prayer in front of the heart. Palms facing up. Close your eyes and just quite simply feel. Opening the eyes and inhale, reach the arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, bow, standing forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back, offer your chest forward, and then exhale, step your left foot back into a lunge. Line your fingertips up with your front ankle, inhale, reach your chest forward, and then exhale, plant your palms and step back, downward dog. Inhale, come on forward, plank pose, upward push-up position. Exhale, bend your knees, arc your spine, bring your ribs to your thighs and work towards straightening your legs, down dog. Inhale, ripple forward, plank pose. Exhale, bend your knees, arc your spine, down dog. Inhale, rippling forward, plank pose. Exhale, bend your knees, arc your spine, down dog. Inhale, ripple forward, plank pose. And as you exhale, lower halfway all the way down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra, roll over your beautiful toes. 
Exhale, down dog, hips up. Inhale, left leg goes up to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it forward in between your hands. Viramadrasana one, lower your right heel to the left and inhale, reach your arms overhead. So again, squaring the pelvis towards the front of the mat. And if this feels like it's inaccessible, if you step your right foot out to the right or pivot your right toes forward, it's a lot easier to square your pelvis towards the front of the mat. So feel free to check that out. And then gently lift pubic bone towards belly button manually, lengthening the quadriceps of the back leg. And then hug your belly button in towards your spine and reach up through your fingers. Connect to a gaze point and soften the jaw and breathe into all that you are. As you exhale, take your hands down by your front foot. We're going to come into seated spinal twist. Step your right foot out towards the left and forward, bending both your knees and take your right knee to the ground on the outside of your left foot and then sit down. Left hand comes behind you. Inhale, right arm goes up to the sky and then exhale, either wrap the arm around the leg or elbow to the outside of the knee. You'll see how it goes in your own body. As you inhale, lengthen the spine and exhale and twist. And again, continue like that at your own pace with your own breath. Come on back to center, so we counter twist in the opposite direction. Come on back to center and extend both your legs out in front of you. And again, just give them a little one two wiggle. Bend your knees, take your knees out to the sides, grab a hold of your feet with your hands, and then lift your feet up off the ground. And again, take your knees out towards the sides, and then shrug your shoulders onto your back and lift your chest. Stay here. Again, we come in that blossoming lotus. Slide your elbows underneath your calves, chin mudra, index and thumb fingers together, and then lift your chest, sparkle out through your toes. Mm. Breathe into this super fun shape. Unravel your arms, grab a hold of your feet with your hands, and you're going to try to straighten your legs for full Navasana or hands to the backs of the knees with calves parallel to the ground. You see how it goes in your own beautiful body, okay? And then wherever you are, lift your heart. Ah, breathe as deep as you can. Stay as you are or release your arms out to the sides. Mm. Bend your knees, cross your ankles over, and then put your hands on the ground. And try to lift your bum up and keep your feet up off the ground. I can never do it, but maybe you can. Bring your butt back down to the ground. Grab a hold of your feet with your hands. And again, explore extending your legs up to the sky. Navasana boat pose. Wherever you are, shrug shoulders onto back and hug belly in and up, lengthening lower back. Maybe you'll release your feet. I don't know. See how it goes. And then bend your knees, cross opposite ankle, low lasana, palms to the ground. Try to lift your bum and keep your feet up off the ground. Zzz. And then come on down, extend your legs out in front of you. And again, wiggle, wiggle. Blah, 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 blah. Tabletop position, bend your knees, place your feet on the ground about six to eight inches in front of you, and then take your hands behind you about six to eight inches, fingers face in towards you. Shrug your shoulders onto your back, and then you're going to lift your bum up off the ground. You can either look towards your knees, look up, or look towards the back of the mat, but wherever you are, lift the pelvis. If this ever feels like too much, keep your bum on the ground and just arc your spine. Wherever you are, breathe into your chest. Next time you exhale, bring your butt down to the ground and then just gently round your spine, look towards your own belly button. We're gonna take that again. I'm gonna add to it by taking inclined plane, legs straight out in front of you. And if this feels like too much, just do exactly what we just did. With legs straight out, bring your big toes to touch and then go ahead and lift your bum up off the ground. Press your feet down into the ground, trying to get your big toes to touch the earth as you lift your chest up. Next time you exhale, bum comes back down to the ground. And just take a breath or two. Just feel that in your beautiful body. Bend your knees, place your feet down on the ground, and then slowly roll yourself onto your back. Do 
Satubandhasana, bridge pose. Robot your arms out to the sides, palms facing in towards each other. With your ankles directly underneath your knees, press your feet down to the ground and lift your hips up off the earth. From here, press your triceps on the ground, lift your chest up a little bit higher and see if you can shrug your shoulders a little bit closer together behind you. Root down through your feet, lift your chest up and then either stay as you are or bring your right knee in towards the chest and extend your right leg up to the sky. So the foot faces the ceiling. Take a deep breath in and then exhale, bring your bum down three quarters of the way. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend your right knee and put your right foot back on the ground. Whoa. Bring your left knee in towards the chest. Extend your left leg up to the sky. Left sole, the foot faces the ceiling. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, bum comes down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, bend your left knee, left foot to the ground. Press both your feet into the ground. And from here, if you can, take your hands underneath you and now interlace your fingers together. Shrug your shoulders a little bit closer towards each other behind you and then gently lift your pubic bone towards your belly button. And then breathe deep into your chest. Stay as you are. We're going to come into full wheel. Hands by your ears, palms facing down. And then claw the mat with your hands and then lift your torso and your head up off the ground. You can stay as you are, or lift your heels up off the ground, and maybe walk your feet a little closer in, see how it goes. Next time you exhale, lie down on your back. Feet wide, knees in towards each other. Take your arms out to the sides and just allow your body to soften. Bring your knees in towards your chest and wrap your arms around your legs and it might feel nice to rock side to side. It might feel nice to stay perfectly still. Take your hands to the backs of your knees and rock and roll a couple times up and down the spine. If this doesn't work for your lower back, just rock side to side instead. Make your way up to sit. And extend your right leg onto the ground out in front of you. Turn and face the left side of your mat and bring your left heel towards your pelvis. Take your right hand to your left thigh and then inhale, reach your left arm up. And then exhale, take your left hand to the back of your head and gently sway your torso towards your right leg, lengthening your left side waist. With your right hand on the outside of your left thigh, gently twist your chest towards your left thigh, deepening the sideways stretch on the left. And slowly come upright, take your left hand behind you by your bum, point through your right toes, and then lift your hips up off the ground and reach your right arm overhead. Slowly make your way back down, and then from here, take your right hand beside you by your right thigh, and then take your left hand to the outside of your right leg, and then bow over your right leg. And if this ever feels like too much, you can either bend your right knee or turn your left knee towards the front of your mat so it's not as much of a twist. And then wherever you are, breathe into the back body, specifically your hamstrings and your left side waist. Come upright, 
take your left hand behind you, and then go ahead and switch legs. Take your left leg towards the back of your own mat, bend your right knee and bring your right heel towards your pelvis. Take your left hand to the outside of your right thigh and then inhale, reach your right arm up and exhale, bend your right elbow and take your right hand to the back of your head. Gently lean your head back into your hand and twist your torso towards your right leg, stretching the right side waist. Come upright with your torso. Take your right hand behind you. Point through your left toes and lift your hips up off the ground, taking your left arm overhead. And then bring your bum down. Take your left hand to the outside of your left leg, your right hand to the outside of your left leg, and then gently twist towards the left and down over your left leg. And again, if you modified this on the right side, go ahead and modify this on the left. And slowly come up and extend your right leg out to the right for Upavishta, wide-legged straddle. Hands on the inside of the front leg, and then you'll bow in between your legs. If this ever feels like too much, you can always bring your soles feet together, knees out to the sides for Baddha Konasana instead. My friends, in Upavishta, meaning legs straight out to the sides, flex through your feet, curl toes to shin. And wherever you are, breathe into your inner thighs. Walk your palms back up. Take your hands to the backs of your knees. Lean back, bending your knees, and then find a cross-legged position. Close your eyes. And we'll just sit here for about a minute. If you'd prefer to take Shavasana, feel free. Those of us in a seated position... Bring your hands in a prayer in front of your heart and bow your chin softly towards your chest. May we take this bhavana with us through the rest of our day. Namaste. If you like that video, you'll probably like these. And if you want more videos, go to my membership site. Either way, let's stay connected.